Hello, I'm CK. Uh, I am Managing Director of a creative agency called Coffee Coca Gunpowder. Um, I started my career around 23 years ago, uh, fell in love with advertising from the get-go. My first real job was at an agency called the Jupiter Drawing Room. I was there for eight years, absolutely loved it. Um, I then immigrated to Australia. I've been here for 12 years and uh, my first agency role here was at an independent agency called Lavender. It was a um, sort of digital CRM agency uh, and that was something I knew nothing about. So I thought I better, I better sort of try that on and really sort of understand how data um, and creativity can kind of work together. I spent some time there, I then moved to Neo Burnett, um, I then moved to MC Saatchi, uh, and my last role before starting this agency was managing partner at DDB. So I, it's fair to say I've worked at um, some amazing global network agencies, um, but this is definitely, um, this point in my career is, is most certainly a highlight. It's mine, it's personal, um, and I love this business. The best piece of career advice, I think, really early on in my career was um, sitting down in, uh, in an annual review with the, probably the best boss I've ever had. And she looked at me and she said, as an opening, she said to me, this is what you've chosen to do. Now choose to be good at it. And that has stuck with me um, over the last two decades um, as something that really drives my desire to be the best um, at what I do and encourage everybody around me to be the best at what they do. Um, the second piece of advice that I received sort of later on in my career from a very, very dear friend of mine actually, um, whenever I sort of, I hit a wall or there's something really, really challenging, uh, she used to say to me, Shukrita, just be yourself. That's what has got you to this point. It's always served you well and it will continue to do so. So just kind of the confidence and the reassurance to, to be myself in every situation um, has been super helpful. What I wish I had known at the start of my career. I think what I will say is that you just, you always on a learning journey. So if I'd sort of sat down with my younger self, sort of the, the 22 year old me, I would just say embrace every opportunity to learn because the things that you do learn, um, at some point you'll have to unlearn and relearn um, because things change all the time. But I think loving learning is, is going to be something that will definitely sort of hold you in good stead. Um, the other thing I think that's really important is you can plan for your career, but there are things that just hit you um, out of the blue and, and surprise you and there's no way that you can plan for everything but I think the most important thing is you have a choice in terms of how you kind of respond to the blind sides in your career um, and those moments and, and how you decide to respond to things are probably more important than the things that you plan because it speaks a lot about your sort of character so you need to you need to take your sort of time um, in deciding how you respond to those things that you don't see coming.